sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. And uh, it just, it really felt like, oh, this is a really clear indication that uh, we're not the cool club anymore. Jim Carrey weighing in on Will Smith's Oscar controversy during a new interview with Gail King for CBS Morning. They asked Chris, do you want to file charges? And Chris apparently said, no, he did not. He doesn't want the hassle. I, I'd, have, I'd have, uh, for, announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. Jim Carrey was on hand promoting his new movie, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But yeah, he made it clear how he felt about Will Smith's actions on Sunday night. You do not have the right to, to walk up on stage and smack somebody in the face because they said words. Since Sunday night, the Academy has launched a formal review into Smith's actions on stage, and Will has since issued a statement. Good morning. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum, people. Shalom. What's good with it? Uh, this is your boy, the, 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 the 49er Nick fan from Nashville. As a call, bring you that heat continuously. Uh, so please uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You already know, know what the business is. Uh, hit that cash app up at PayPal. That's if you choose to. Because a closed mouth don't get fed. You know that, right? Closed mouths do not get fed in today's society at all. You have to be a full of aggression. You got to have that go-getter mentality. You better believe it. You better believe it. Shout out to the black YouTube out there. Uh, O'Shea, Duke Jackson, Ticket TV, Car C. No, the League Attorney, Kevin Samuels, Mr. Palmer, J.R. Wisdom, uh, Sister D.D., Vicky Dillon, all of them be bringing that, bringing that hectic, that 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 that, that hell on 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 the YouTube. You feel me? Who bring that straight message? So let's go ahead and continue to cook on this, man. Everybody at the job. I mean, every little second they they talking about Will Smith, Will Smith, Will Smith, <laughs> and everybody got. You know, good solutions on both sides. If they were this, if they were that, or whatever. You know, if they were Will, what would you done? If he was Chris, what would you done? And as you know, uh, to each his own. I cannot tell a man how to love his wife. Even if she might did some fucked up shit on him. If that motherfucker love him, it is what it is on that. What, what could you say? What more can you say? Can't say too much, can you? I mean, it is what it is on that. So, you know, um, as Hollywood got the whiff of everything, what was going on, you can just imagine what was transpiring in people's heads. You know, like, what was Will thinking, you know? What was Chris Rock thinking? Just let somebody hit them and not do anything? You know? What's up with that? Jim Carrey, on the other hand, Dude said he would have waited to the next day. Dude said he would wait to the next day. He said, I want 200 mil. Because everybody, everybody going to see that. They are making memes about us on Facebook. And it's like, everybody see that. And he has a valid point, too. I mean, dude got a real valid point on that situation. Everybody's going to see that. They're going to make t-shirts with Will doing the little stands, hitting it. Chris Rock, boom, ping. You know, they got a little Batman sign behind the motherfucker. So, yeah, motherfuckers are using them. They're already using their creativity and their mind to, to use marketing schemes to uh, uh, pitch the Will Smith slap. The Will Smith slap. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God, dog, boy. And he didn't, and then your boy didn't file no charges. Yeah, the Canadian-American actor and comedian Jim Carrey has come out swinging against Will Smith, suggesting that he had been arrested after the infamous slap against Chris Rock. And if he was Rock, he would have sued Smith for $200 million. 
But Gail, uh, Carrie made the comments during the interview with Gail King in a CBS morning interview that aired Tuesday, where he also took aim at the audience of the A listeners who applauded Will Smith when he received the Oscar for the Best Actor, calling him, it's called calling them spineless. He said, I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. Hollywood is just spineless in masses, and it's really feel like it's really clear indication that we are not the cool club anymore. Carrie, 60 years old, told Gail King that. Well, you know, I could use that money. That 200 million can send me back, so you know what I'm saying? But, oh, man, it's just that situation right there to each his own. Everybody got their own opinion, but my thing is, I was wondering if it was staged, though. It just looked like it was kind of staged, because it had to add a white man been up there making jokes to a brother, and the brother made his way towards that motherfucker. You don't think nobody would have been like, oh, hold, hold, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking of, because there wasn't no confusion uh, in between. Maybe they thought it was going to be a skit or something, but uh some people think it's staged, too. But let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all leave me some comments. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification, baby. Left in that loop. Follow the hackers, people.